I said, look, the next place that's going to get hit, uh, if, if there's another place that gets hit, is going to be the Capitol. So let's make sure we walk away from the Capitol. Let's start, get our team, get out of here. Let's leave the Russell building and let's start walking away. With Among the victims of 9-11 was a young Westlake woman, 25-year-old Christina Uke. And every, every year for the past 10 years, Christina's friends and family have gathered here in New York City to remember her and to celebrate her life. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee caught up with Christina's father and best friend recently to talk about Christina's life. From old photos to her favorite stuffed animals, memories of Christina Uke fill her parents' home in Westlake. But not a day goes by that this father doesn't wish he could see his daughter again. If the God give me the one chance, whatever I wanted to, I'm going to ask, ask God, let me see my daughter only one time. Even the one second doesn't matter. I just want to see, say something. That's what I want, but it's not going to happen. It's been 10 years since Christina Uke died. She was at her job in the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, after having just convinced her father to let her stay a while longer in the city that she loved. She called me, Daddy, can I stay one more year? And then I made the amendment. Okay. She hung up. A week later, that happened. One week later. Mm -hmm. I should say no. It doesn't feel like it's been 10 years. 10 years, but the pain is still fresh for loved ones who remember a caring and thoughtful Christina, who never forgot a birthday and always protected her friends. She would interview anybody's boyfriend and ask the most difficult questions and be sure to say if you ever do anything to hurt my friend I will come after you. <laughs> so she was that kind of person. Ten years and this year for the first time the man responsible for Christina's death is also dead. There is some feeling of retribution and there is some feeling that what should have been done has been done but like he said doesn't bring her back. They can't bring her back, but the young woman who also loved children and books will be remembered for generations to come through Christina's Corner at the Westlake Porter Public Library, the Christina Uke Reading Room at Westlake High School, and in the lives of students getting a helping hand from her foundation. Since September 11, 2001, eight Westlake High School graduates have received scholarships to the University of Michigan in Christina's name. At Westlake High School, Deb Rulley, News Channel 5. And as I said, the Uke family is here in New York City, and I will be talking with them tomorrow. I'm looking forward to hearing more stories about Christina and what it's like for their family to be here on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Lakewood is one of a handful of Northeast Ohio fire departments that receive steel from the World Trade Center. Their piece, 24 feet long and more than 8,000 pounds, was cut in two. A memorial is being built with the steel to honor fallen firefighters. The project has been a community effort that started two years ago. Lakewood High School and West Shore Career Technical District students got an assignment to come up with a design for the memorial. The finished project will incorporate the Twin Towers and the Pentagon. Chief Scott Gilman says he thinks about September 11th every day. I used to live up there, so I, my father's office was right across from the World Trade Center, so I watched the buildings get built. The new memorial will be unveiled at 9-11 a.m. on September 11th outside of the Lakewood Fire Station on Madison Avenue. We'll be right back. I remember being in my second grade class and not really sure what was going on. And then when I got home, I remember watching my mom uh, looking at the TV crying. Uh, and it was, it was quite a memorable experience.